Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Another type that is photochemistry of pi pi star system. Hmm? So, in pi pi star system, we will be dealing most of the time with your alkenes, dienes. Um, your aromatic systems, all these things we will be dealing with pi pi star. But before getting into the reactions, we will just uh, <coughs> simply uh, understand how this pi pi star photochemistry works. Okay? Just we will put some thought on it, then we will get into the reactions. Right? See, if you, are a, if you have an alkene, type of an ion alkene okay, and uh, you photolyze this, what happens is that yeah, you know this state that you get an type of good pi pi star excitation. Right now, I am not introducing any word singlet or triplet. Okay. I am just taking an alkene, I am photolyzing Okay, you get the type of excitation pi pi star. So, I am I am saying that this can be a pi pi star excitation. So, how this will be in the singlet state? Mostly this should be in planar. Okay, you have a system two carbon with your pi systems like this. So, it will be in planar. Okay. Uh, you know why it is because your Frank codon does not allow it to do anything during the excitation. Excitation process is so fast, whatever how it is in the ground state it will be in the same way in the exciter state. Okay. So, people call this as a frank code and uh, planar structure, but normally you can think it is planar. Hmm? Now, this is the interesting part of your pi pi star system. What happens in the, once it is there, the exciter state in the planar, it undergoes a little bit twist on the carbon 90 degree. Okay. It undergoes a 90 degree twist. For example, if I make this part little bit. It gets a nice 90 degree twist okay, uh, in the excited state, and you get a you call this as a relaxed people call this as since you say it is twist, it should not be allowed, but that is why you call it as a relaxed twist state. It is like comfortable there doing this twist. Okay. Uh, why I will explain you. Um, basically, the energy requires to move from planar to relaxed to states is like only 2 kilo kilocalories per mole, not more than that. So, it needs only this much of energy to do this maximum 2 to 3 calories, that is all it needs. Okay. Uh, this, this is the, the difference between your n pi star reactivity and pi pi star reactivity. Okay. Once it gets too excited, it will be in a planar, but immediately it undergoes a, a twist in the uh, which is a 90 degree type of rotation to give you a relaxed twist state fine and that is 2 kilocalories per mole that energy requirement so this you have to remember first before we are getting into any excited state chemistry okay 
the second point is that keeping that in mind if I take my alkene and do the photolysis, photolysis yeah, as you are as you said that it can undergo a singlet okay. S1, then it undergoes an intersystem crossing. If it is, okay, it is not that must, if, if the energy profile allows it to undergo an intersystem crossing, it undergoes an intersystem crossing to give me a triplet, right. <coughs> now, uh, I said that this planar, when it is planar, it undergoes a type of twisted, right, it undergoes a relaxed because of this, these two electrons which are away from each other, okay, they come to the same orbital, they flow, fall like this, they become like mostly if you see it is becomes like this, fine, because of that twist, the whole of the electron will flow to that carbon, okay, and they become one end will be becoming more negative and another end will be more positive. So, I so, how it looks like what do you call this normally a yeah, system which has a negative and positive zeta-ionic. So, that is very important. So, see this chemistry particularly clearly differentiate your singlet and triplet. When you are talking an alkene in a singlet excited state, any chemistry, it should work as a zeta ionic. You can push your two electrons happily, okay, plus or minus. And but if you do intersystem crossing and get to a triplet, then you are going to do radical chemistry. Here it is normal chemistry which you do with your carbon anion, nucleophilic, electrophilic, you push your two electrons together, right. That type of arrow you can use when you are talking about your singlet excited state. But when you are talking about triplet, again it becomes a radical chemistry. So, what you can see from zeta ionic, what are the reactions you can think of? Any reactions which you can see? There are many, I will tell you, but what what do you think if I get a zeta ionic, what type of reactions I can think about? Yeah, one you can think about your carbon anion reactions, right? because you have a carbon anion, you can think about any carbon anion reactions that is there. You can think about your carbonium ion reactions. What are the carbonium ion reactions? You can, if you have a methanol then you know, you can do rearrangements, right. Carbonium, if you are creating a carbonium ion then you can do rearrangements, mm, that type of reactions you can look for. Then you have a minus plus, another minus plus is there, you can do additions, right, hmm? dimerization type of reactions. Another main reaction is which you are going to see most of the time when you think about alkene is cis trans isomerization. See this reaction cis and cis trans isomerization, this is very predominating reactions of alkene chemistry, cis and trans, okay. Fine. But in some way you are going to triplet, okay. That means you are using sensitizer, you are moving to triplet state, okay. Then what chemistries you can think about? Triplet mean. Again, it undergoes nice cis and trans because that is not going to stop it. Okay, even if it is a radical, it can do a cis and trans, right? It can undergo dimerization, right? That also you can see. And then you can see all your n pi star reactivity, right? Because it is again radical. You can see all your n pi star reactivity. What are they? Hydrogen <coughs> abstraction. You can look for hydrogen abstraction. You can look for cleavage, 
energy transfer, electron transfer, so you can see all this cluster of reactions happening. From singlet, you can see carbon anion reactions, carbonium reactions, dimerization, cis trans. From triplet, you can see again cis trans and dimerization followed by all your n pi star reactivity. That also you can see because it is more like a radical chemistry. Um, <coughs> but anyway, this is not going to happen most of the time. Okay, These are the reactions which you should know. Hmm? We will come down and we will sort it out what are the reactions which is dominantly going to happen when you do an alkene chemistry. Okay? But these are the reactions you should know that it can happen. Hmm? We'll just see the energy diagram of alkene and see that whether we can uh, sort these reactions, whether all these reactions are going to open, uh, happen or some predominating reactions which is going to happen, that we can think about. So, you know pretty well how to write your alkene, you have an SO and then you have a excited singlet and you know that you have a triplet for alkene, any alkene system. The one big thing you know is what? That your energy gap of an alkene most of the time is uh, comparatively larger than your carbonyl, that is n pi star reactivity most of the time. Your pi pi star energy gap is always larger hmm, to that. So, what it says? It says that my inter-system crossing will be very slow, right? So, energy gap is large else inter system crossing is very slow. So, this can be an one observation. So, then what it says then if I take on my alkene and do the chemistry I am going to see chemistry only from the singlet ok. Um, so, this so I am going to see my chemistry only from the singlet. What are the chemistry which happens from singlet basically? Just now we saw cis trans right. Then it is okay carbonium and carbonium which you know, but these are the two main chemistry which happens from your alkene. Okay, so you should know. Uh, sometime it undergoes cis and trans isomerization. Sometime you end up with your dimerization reaction. These are the two predominating reaction when you think about pi pi star chemistry. Yeah, other reactions all happens. That's fine, but that needs some sensitizer. If I put sensitizer, I can take to triplet, then I do that chemistry. But if we take alkene and directly excite an alkene, then I will be putting my mind on cis and trans isomerization or I will put my mind on dimerization. Fine. So, these are the two reactions which we will discuss in detail. <coughs> hmm? We will discuss cis and trans isomerization, then we will discuss dimerization. Then there is one chemistry which is PET chemistry, which you electron transfer which you have studied that also happens in alkene that we will discuss. So, these are the three main reactions we will discuss on pi pi star. Okay. So, once we finish the, the once we finish pi pi star then <coughs> we will discuss something about your singlet oxygen reactions and uh, some rearrangement. So, that is how the photochemistry ends up. Hmm? Okay. So, we will start then uh, from cis trans isomerization.
so this is your what structure it is what is this compound very good it's a trans steel beam so if i uh, fertilize this trans steel beam directly okay uh, then uh, see you know trans are much more stable that you know from your so if i fertilize this then you end up with in photochemistry you can get up your So, you can take your trans steel beam, fertilize, you end up with a cis surge effect. But most of the time, this reaction is not like moving from trans to cis. You will always end up with some sort of equilibrium happening around this trans to cis, okay. Then from cis to trans, then trans to cis, okay. It is not like you, uh, you uh, this, this chemistry you call as photostationary state. It goes to a state, okay. Then again, it see you, you see both the molecules, you think they will have different absorption whatever wavelength in which this is observing, the same wavelength this will also observe, okay. They are not going to have different UV absorption. So, once you are, hmm? no, their epsilon might be different, okay. Uh, most of the time what happens, see I cannot have a wavelength which is like exactly 285, another 287, okay. I am talking about a wavelength of range, okay. Uh, so, uh, so what happens trans to cis, then cis absorbs, then this to cis trans. So, you always have a photostationary state. That is why you most of the time you cannot think of full conversions, okay, in this chemistry. But you have always this up and down happening. Uh, but you, uh, but there are reactions where you can push from trans to cis and get the cis out of there, okay. We will see that examples also. So, we will see how the mechanism of this works, okay, and uh, why. Uh, this reaction has been done and people have isolated cis still been, but we see how it is. Hmm? Um, if you see the mechanism, <coughs> for example, I, on this side I am taking my trans still beam, okay. I am fertilizing this. I can write how it looks like at an infinite and this will equal be phenyl and my hydrogen. Right. So, I get like this if I if the system has trans. You think if the system has a cis then how it will be? Then if I excite this guy, so I get two type like this if you have a cis and trans, right. <coughs> you know once it gets to the excited state it undergoes a relaxed juice form. So, it undergoes a type of rotation. So, if this two are undergoing a type of rotation, you will end up with a common intermediate. So, just turn this around, okay. In both the case, I can turn around. So, I can get my hydrogen phenyl, and both the case, you will get a type of a common intermediate, okay. This intermediate can give me my cis and trans again. So, that is how it keeps on flowing, okay. You take it to cis, then it undergoes because of this relaxed juice form, it comes back from both the cases, it can come back to a common ion intermediate which depending it can move this direction to give me trans and you can move this direction to give me cis, okay. <coughs> but once you do photolysis, um, you have a trans here, you have a cis here, okay. 
So, which will absorb light more? Trans. Uh, why? Yes. Extended conjugation of trans. So, what helps extended one? Huh? More. So, uh, at the end, what do you get? Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Uh, that means basically what happens is that molar absorption coefficient, that is your epsilon, okay, which is very important. That tells you how much a molecule can act, absorb, okay, <coughs> which you have studied in your UV, right? Your epsilon max for this is for trans is around 16,300, okay. But if you see the epsilon max of your 6, it is around 2,880. So, this where it is very important that when I shine a light because trans guy has, it can absorb so much because it has a very good epsilon that means its molar absorbity capacity of absorption is greater. So, it can absorb all the light even cis is in the same wavelength. So, cis absorption will be less and this trans absorption will be greater. So, that is why you see the conversion happening from trans to cis 95 percentage. <coughs> okay. That is very important when you take. If your system which has trans and cis same absorption, then you will be getting only photosession received. You go from trans to cis and you get this cis to trans, but that also important. Many, many application also came out of it. You can have a system which can goes to trans to cis <coughs> and do some chemistry there, releases a molecule or can bind it and then leave it off and come to trans. So, many other applications also made from that chemistry also. So, it is nice that you can move from trans to cis and cis to trans looks like to be a simple chemistry okay you take a trans and you do cis but lot of applications are coming out of it hmm? yeah. fine okay now what we'll do i will start uh, understanding can we draw cis and trans because uh, <laughs> sometimes it's very hard to draw cis and trans okay we will see that whether we can draw cis and trans for acyclic systems, it is nice to draw. First, we will take an acyclic system, which is easy to draw cis and trans. Then, we will go for a cyclic system and see whether we can draw cis and trans. Okay? Take a first example, which you guys know to this, this I think it is easy to draw, but just as an example, I am saying. do a photolysis mm, as try to draw the trans structures or uh, the cis structure just to build up how to draw because I think you know the photolysis so it is nice to draw the structures now. Without seeing the board you can draw by yourself. This is nice example, so it looks to be simple to draw. Okay. See another important uh, see, uh, is your azo compounds, right? You have seen many times azo compounds are. Whenever someone gives you azo compound, you always have in mind that it undergoes a cis and trans. Okay, azo compound is very good for that. Lot of, lot of very uh, nice application comes out of this cis and trans of azo compounds. Uh, otherwise, what happens if you fertilize them for a long time? You can also see some chemistry of nitrogen going out. Okay, that type of chemistry also seen in azo compound. But simple, you take an azo compound, you fertilize, you end up with a nice cis and trans. Okay, this is easy to draw. Now, we will take one natural product and see how we can draw cis and trans. Okay. Just your natural products which you know.
what is this compound? Where you have seen this compound? Somebody has seen this. Huh? Yeah. To make? Somebody has used this for uh, study this this compound for making your vitamin D. This is pre vitamin D. Okay, before step of vitamin D. You have seen this pre vitamin D. Um, now, if you fertilize, yeah, draw me the other form. So, you can see this is how we are thinking to draw that, that is more important. That, that's why I was looking. The cisan trans looks to be easy when you take a simple molecule, but the best way of drawing is how you can understand them properly. That's what I was looking for. You get another good uh, natural products if you do the cisan trans. What you get? You take a pre vitamin D, and if you fertilize pre vitamin D, you get a nice natural product. Any finish? So, we just will check whether what way you are written, see whether there is as any. Better way of looking, na? How you want me to write the words now? It will be in the same plane if I, huh? Don't show. Shall I like that? I like this. Or I have to keep the words in the same symmetry. That's what I want you to visualize now. You're just taking a sentence. Now you are just moving across. Okay. So are you forgetting your words? Or it will be in the same symmetry. No, I am just asking you. There will be change or there will be no change? Huh? There will be change, na? Yeah. So these are things, minor things you have to keep in mind when you are you are just looking about your double bond. Okay. So uh, these are the systems. That's why I said little system trans writing is little bit. What what is this called? Okay. Uh, it's what molecule? Basic. It's a what type of? It's an alkaloid or it is what? You know, identify alcohol, alkaloids, terpenes. It's a terpene, or it is sterol. Yeah. Mm, then where terpene comes here? Uh, this are known chemistry. You take a pre-vitamin D and you fertilize, you get take a sterol. Hmm? And even you can cyclize this. Because that can, that you have studied this natural product synthesis. You take, you can cyclize these <coughs> rings. You can open them. Con rotatory, dis rotatory happens. Huh? Then you end up with three vitamin D that will fertilize to give you testosterone. Hmm? Yeah. Whenever you flip molecules, please see what are the other uh, any chiral molecules are there where you have to keep that also in mind. These are some good examples of your. Um, uh, even I can think of one example, which is, uh, which. Like azo, uh, this is easy to draw, but just to make you that. Oh, sorry. There's no end there. Fine. Mm. Don't want a trans. I can take a cis of it. So, this is imine, all right. Uh, imine also undergoes when you fertilize, it also undergoes nice cis and trans, hmm, just for your knowledge. Do not keep on idealizing that, guys.
nice systems okay now little bit more interesting we will go to cyclic systems okay cyclic system drawing system trans is little bit interesting okay mm. take cyclic system before getting into cyclic system i will tell you some cyclic compounds or you can call the cyclic systems whatever it is we'll just ask ourselves we will start from the smaller string cyclopropane uh, cyclopropane how it exists how it exists cyclopropane we, we can say like I can put you cis and trans here <coughs> what is the stable form of cyclopropane how it exists can you see trans cyclopropane and that's why I am asking huh? So, you can see only cis, right? The trans is can. So, do not think if I put a cyclopropane alkene and you do cis and trans of it. Mm, that is why I want to give you uh, before we do the problems. Fine. <coughs> Cyclobutane systems. Trans? No trans. Okay, very good. Cyclopentene. Yeah, we are coming near to the border line. Okay. No trans. No trans by photochemistry, or you can see trans somewhere by eating or something. No trans. Are you sure? I, I am just going by you. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> What I feel is that there is no trans uh, in photochemistry. Trans is there. You cannot get your trans in photochemistry. That's what I heard of the cyclopentene systems. Uh, but you don't see trans cyclopentene type of trans. Any examples? Any derivative of cyclopentene? Okay. Trans is there, right? You trans you see you don't see in photochemistry. Okay, that's particular. We cannot make a trans photochemistry, trans in photochemistry, right. Then we can get in your cyclohexene that is 6 membered as well as your 7 membered. Yeah, you can say that. <coughs> trans is always there, ok. Uh, this is 6 and 7. Trans you can get, ok. Oh, sorry, cis is always there. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah, trans. Uh, trans is there? No. Yeah, uh, but I can s I can give you an examples, ok, where uh, you can see trans systems in um, 6 member rings and 7 member string. But the lifetime of your trans <coughs> uh, is very less. It will be 9 microseconds, 10 microseconds and people have trapped the trans transform. Hmm? Uh, we will see that examples. I will just, uh, before getting into the examples, I want to make sure that we know all these things. Then we will get into the examples, ok. Uh, so, there are many examples where I, I will give you a system where you can see the trans of your 6 member ring hmm? and that has been even uh, trapped and isolated and the lifetime has been around 9 microseconds. Eight member? Yes, you can take both, no? both are, and even they are isolated. Okay, eight members. That's good. So now, as we move on, then you can keep on getting things. Fine. So up to this, you should have an idea. Like you have three, four, five. So the border line becomes around like six, six, seven, eight. Hmm? That's good. So now we'll get into examples of cyclic systems and see whether we can draw really cis and transform of it. Okay. Okay, I have a system like this, I photolyze. Now, you have to write the trans of it. How you write it? Can you think about writing a transform of this? 
Yeah, right. That is good. See, the best way is that always keep your double bond in the linear in the plane, then draw the rings. Okay, that will be easy. I guess you can keep. Okay. So that is why you keep your double bond in between, okay, in the plane. Then you draw, then you get your cis centers. You can move according to, you can move your phenyl down or you can move that. Hmm? The, the lambda max of this particular compound is 380 nanometer, and the lifetime, the transition lifetime of this is 9 microsecond, this particular compound, the transform of it, okay. See if you if you take a system like uh, if I take this uh, in the presence of a system like uh, taking this. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not I mean double bond here. If I take this and this and fertilize two together, okay. I am taking your cis form and taking my type of a uh, aromatic cyclohexene okay, and fertilizing them together. What happens is that once I get my trans, okay, this form, what do you expect? You can write like this or if you want you can write in other way which I can you can write symmetrically like this also. It is the same thing you can write in a symmetrical form like okay. what do you expect then that is more important at least write like this also. No? What you are going to expect? This two are now right in the. I take a cis, fertilize. It will go to trans. Then I have a system like this. Anything? Any idea? What it can happen? So study these reactions. Yeah, you can actually do a four plus two cycle addition. Right? Your Gill cell the type of reaction you can nicely form a four plus two addict. So, can you draw the structure 4 plus 2 addict? It can undergo a nice 4 plus 2 reaction. Okay. See, people are trapped it, so clever they are. See, 4 plus 2 goes much more faster than your 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 symmetry is not that much allowed. Okay. 4 plus 2 <coughs> happens very fast. Hmm? That is the only reason. Okay. 2 plus 2 in photochemistry you can see a lot, mm? uh, but 4 plus 2 if it is there more possibility of 4 plus 2 is there. Mm? You can do 2 plus 2 there is nothing wrong in it, fine. Which one? These are the reactions you can get it. Yeah. Uh, we will see, uh, we are going to get that. Okay. Do not worry, we will see all these reactions. There are many rules where it, you can get it. Hmm? So, what product you have written? Anything nice? So, I can use this double bond. Little bit change in the double bond, okay. 
Yeah. So you get a system like this, na? Four plus two. So what happens uh, in this case? Th this you your aromaticity should come back again, right? Hmm. Your aromaticity should come back again. So you have an system like this. Now, just think of doing one three hydrogen shift. From where? See, I want to push this. Okay, there's nitrogen here. I can move here, so it can become an aromatic. So I can do a one three hydrogen shift. Then it becomes a very stable molecule. So, this type of products have been isolated. Okay, this tells you that uh, yes, um, there are systems which can be. Okay, you have six-membered may you can think of forming trans. Okay, you, uh, this you can, uh, trans people have taken it. They have found out their lifetime transition lifetime, and same way they have isolated the products. Okay, you cannot take directly trans isolated. That's very hard. Hmm? But trans are formed in photochemistry. Clear. That's good. Now we'll go to our next example, which is type of eight member ring. Okay. If I fertilize this, now you know to write the transform, right? Pretty well. So just I will use this one. Okay. Um, sorry. Just write by yourself. You can write this and then you find good way of writing it just like your six, six member. I just try to write your eight members. Some people even try to write like this. If you want, you can think of this way. This way also people write, okay. But if you can keep your double bond, most of the time it will be helpful for you. In many structures you can keep your double bond ideal. But it's but this way also you should know <coughs> because if you have a system which is having two double bonds, okay, then you cannot use this way to write. Then you have to go to this way to adapt, mm, okay. It's both asymmetrical. the same. Okay. So, that's, that is more important to draw structures like that. Um, okay. Now, we will take another good examples of second. What is this? So now we were dealing about one system, okay, one alkene system, one double bond system. Now we are dealing with uh, diene type of system. You call this as beta diene. What form it is? Yeah. No, you how you call beta diene trans? How you call them? Yeah, transoid, right? Most of the time you call them transoid, cisoid, because if it is trans, then I can put my double bond inside and put two radicals here. Okay, that will become trans also. So it is more like a transoid. 
Right? That you should know when you differentiate between a diene system, transoid, cisoid, that is the word you use. Okay, alkene you use trans and cis, right. So, then you can draw this, this you know how to draw, that is fine. So, I am fine, I am not worried about that part. Um, now, if you are given a system like Now, I am giving a system which is like this, it is a diene again, um, now I fertilize, how you think about drawing this, this is much more interesting because this is planar structure, yeah, you, you did a cyclic, so it is easy to write a trans and cis to this, uh, this form, better way of projecting it in another form, looks to be a simple molecule with a diene system. Yeah, draw by yourself. That will be take. That will make you to think. That's what I want. How you are putting a double bond? If it is like that, that's what I'm looking for. How you are placing your double bonds? You have studied that. That's why I'm think. I'm just just taking your basic knowledge of understanding. You have studied. See, basically, what you can do is that. You know how to put this double bonds, no? That's all. It will tell you other things. From that, you can always go ahead, yeah. Because you are taking this system and you are written like that. So it's easy. Then you can finish it off. See this type of structures you can see when you go for your alkene type of pi pi star chemistry. This all happens. This are all been isolated. That's the part is that it's not that this is the product which has been just you are drawing by theoretical. It's no, it, these products have been isolated, taken out, characterized completely. Hmm? So that that should be the idea when you think about cis and trans systems. Hmm? Uh, drawing cis and trans is little bit. You should be uh, knowing them how to draw. Hmm? Better understanding of the structures. Sir, will these two structures uh, equally good? Yeah, yeah, sure. These are all the systems. Most of the time, you know your trans side, cis side, even that is equilibrium. Yeah? You take your beta diene, you keep it in solution, you exist both your trans and cis form in all the time. Okay, this is not like you can take your trans form out. This is your famous compound, right? This type of azo compounds are made a lot, and uh, you have studied uh, any famous azo compounds which you know, like like this type of rings, which have been used as a very good base. Dapco, right? diaza, bicyclo, octadecene. Okay, you have DBU. And di by as a bicyclone decines. See, these are all molecules also you can think about. Okay. Uh, just I am taking that is why I take one example of azo compound. Hmm? Hmm. So, I have to write this. Whenever you write azo, it is uh, it's always nice that you say I am not written this here, but whenever you write azo, it is nice to put your lone pair of electron. Okay, and show how this lone pair electrons are to the That is also a nice way of looking at it. Yeah? That is how you study. Good. 
what is this molecule? And write like this. Seen this molecule? Studied this? Furyl. How you make this? Any idea? How you can make this? <coughs> Condensation. Yeah, it's it looks to feel like difficult, but it is easy molecule to make. Of what? Hey, you guys study retro, no? just cleave it, that's all you end up with an aldehyde, right? These are a very, is, this compound is very interesting, if you, you just go and see what happens to this. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, there are many, st many methods available to make this molecule, but they are interesting molecules. If you do the photolysis, uh, yeah, you end up your uh, So that's um, so. These are some of the cis and trans isomerization which you are uh, seeing. Uh, any idea why your uh, three-membered and four-membered doesn't form trans form? Ring strain. Sure. If I go to nine, ten, what happens? You can isolate trans form. Okay, that's good. Uh, so that's fine. So uh, th that's how to start with alkene photochemistry. What we, are, what I'm going to try in next class is that we will be getting into your type of dimerization reactions. Okay, uh, where we'll be. See, you have a system like this, uh, particularly with butadiene type of systems. And in this case, what happens once you photolyze, you know it undergoes a cis and trans isomerization, but at the same time, you have more chemistry happening from dimerization. Okay, that you should be knowing. Yeah. So, what we do is that um, we will stop here and we will say that uh, we have finished one reaction that is your cis and trans isomerization. In this class, we will start our <coughs> dimerization reactions. Okay.